In this video, I want to compare goodbrief.io with ChatGPT. So goodbrief.io is a random generator for design briefs. I've seen this used quite a lot by other creators on YouTube. So how it works is that you get a unique design brief based on deliverables and the industry of whatever company you're working for. Let's generate one based on both random and then the company name is WAN. We make online courses for learning cinematography. We stand out because our, of our customer service. Our target audience is married couples. We want to convey a sense of faithfulness while at the same time being fresh. You must create two illustrations for the company website that show the company's team. They will prefer a traditional art style and would like you to use the brand color, which is yellow. Take into account the client's preferences and values. So first off, I don't understand. I, I cannot make sense of the brief. Why would a cinemato cinematography company want to target married couples? And then why do they need the two illustrations for the company website to show the company's team? As in, is it illustration of the two founders. Let's generate another one. So company name is Shaq. We are a company that produces the best soccer equipment. We pride ourselves in our knowledge of the sport. Our target audience is couples. Why? We want to convey a sense of security while at the same time being modern. Job description, you must create a logo using the information given in this brief. They would prefer a mascot logo that uses the color white. The logo will be used on the company website. Take into account the company's values and preferences and make sure it will work for the planned use cases. So again, the brief is very disjointed. If you look at it closely, it doesn't seem to make sense. It doesn't seem to represent what an actual real life scenario should be. So why would a soccer company want to target couples? Uh, what does security got to do with a soccer company? Let's take a look now at ChatGPT. All right, if you haven't heard of it, it's an AI-powered chatbot. It's an AI-powered chatbot, which can do a lot of things. But in comparison to goodbrief.io, we're going to create briefs, design briefs that we can use either to generate ideas for our portfolio or design challenges, things like that. So I'm going to write in a prompt. Let me give me a mock design brief with deliverables of a fictional company of a fictional company startup. Greenbox. Greenbox is a subscription-based service that delivers locally sourced organic produce to customers' doorstep. Our mission is to make it easy for people to eat healthy, environmentally conscious meals while supporting local farmers. Sounds great. We are seeking to redesign our website logo to better reflect our brand identity and values. Deliverables, logo, website, homepage that clearly communicates the benefits, uh, encourages visitors to sign up for a subscription, a farmer's page that highlight the local farmers we work with and showcase their stories, a recipes page with healthy seasonal recipe ideas using ingredients from our boxes, frequently asked questions page that addresses common customer concerns, a contact us page with a form for customers to reach out with questions or feedback. Timeline, initial goal, logo concepts, wireframe two weeks, final website launch eight weeks. Wow. So as you can see, this is the difference that, let's put it side by side. The brief is a lot more deep. I don't have a word for this. A lot more realistic. You're not going to get a mismatch of random details about the company or requirements. Uh, it makes a lot more sense together. You know what I'll do? I'll create us, chat GPT to create another one. And let's see what they come up with. Sure, here's another one called Eco Trip. Eco Trip is a travel company that specializes in eco-friendly tours and experiences. You believe in preserving the planet while providing customers with unique, authentic travel experiences. We are in need of a new website, new website, destinations page, blah, blah, blah. Let's do it again. Sustainability Chick is a fashion brand that specializes in sustainably, sustainable act Thickly made clothing. Okay, deliverables, new website, homepage, shop, bars, blog. For these three 
prompts that I asked for, they seem to be stuck in websites. I'll create a new chat, paste it in, and see what it comes up with again. Natural cleaning products made from plant-based ingredients. We are looking for this, a logo, packaging, design. Okay, this is new. We have packaging design, we have website design. So three things here. What I want to ask for is also give a few examples of ideal customer profiles for this company. Here are a few examples of ideal customer profiles for eco-friendly cleaners. Sarah's their home mom, willing to pay a little extra for all natural products that are effective and net environmentally friendly. John, college student, passionate about sustainability and reducing carbon footprint. Rachel, busy professional, values efficiency, willing to pay for high quality cleaning products. Jake, retiree, concerned about the health impacts of harsh chemicals. Well, these are very good. Yeah, these are very good examples. Since we need a packaging, since they asked for a packaging design here, a spray bottle jar of all purpose. Give me details of the cleaning products. You know what? Let's copy this. A spray bottle, a jar of all purpose cleaning cleaner, a box of laundry detergent. What are the names of these products? And what are the names? Give me names of these products, tag, tag line, and ingredient list, and all additional text to be included in the packaging. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if this will work. Here are details of the three cleaning products for eco friendliness. Nature's Touch All Purpose Cleaner Tag Line Powerful Cleaning with a Gentle Touch. Nice. Ingredients, water, plant-based, something, essential oil, additional tax. Our all-purpose cleaner is made with natural plant-based ingredients and essential oils to effectively tackle dirt and grime without harsh chemicals. Safe for use on all surfaces, including counters, appliances, and floors. For best results, shake well and white. Wow, okay. I mean, this is not going to be uh, probably 100% realistic or accurate, but it is a good guide if you want to create a mock project look at this uh eco-friendly laundry eco-fresh laundry detergent clean clothes clean conscious wow wow it's amazing clean clothes clean conscious our laundry detergent is made up of natural plant-based ingredients and essential oils to gently clean your clothes while leaving a fresh scent ingredients hey what about this green clean glass and surface cleaner crystal clear cleaning without the chemicals so we have a design brief we have customer profiles we also have uh the, the text the copy that we can use for our packaging and then next let's look at uh, the logo and the website design i think i'm interested to see what else what more details can they give a simple and modern logo that conveys the eco friendly aspect of our brand it should be able to work both light and dark backgrounds and be easily recognizable in small sizes okay, that's a very basic uh expectation for a, of a logo all right what can we perform more for the logo give a more specific direction on what the brand managers let's call them brand managers want to convey all the brand I'm not sure if this is making sense let's 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 try it sure here are some specific directions on what the brand managers for eco-friendly cleaners want to convey through the logo modern clean low fresh modern simple easy to read clean lines minimalistic natural eco-friendly images uh image okay okay so this is good here the logo should convey the brand's commitment to using all natural plant-based ingredients here cleaning product this could be achieved through colors imagery like leaves and plants a sense of trust and reliability yes that sounds good logo should build help to build, build trust professionalism i think yes i mean based on what this mock brand is about you want to build the trust of consumers because that is the the whole idea behind being eco-friendly and for example someone who is concerned about the health impact of harsh chemicals versatility okay okay this is quite basic whatever your logo is it should work on 
different uh, sizes and platforms. Let's look at the website. We need a new website for our online store. The website should be modern, clean, easy to navigate, should clearly communicate the values of our brand and the benefits of using our product. We will need to navigate. Okay, let's let's try this. For the website, give a detailed brief on how many and what ages are necessary oh okay maybe not not how many but because it's an e-commerce website uh it's an online store so we, we can't say how many depending on the product uh what pages are necessary what uh what are the must have pages let's just stop here and then let's look at what we get back first home page about us product shop FAQ, contact us, privacy, policy, terms of service, blog. If the company realizes you wish a separate page should be... Okay, this is quite... Mm, yeah, this is quite good. Homepage, the main landing page on the website. Clear overview of the company's mission, values, products. Clear call to action, shop now. And then about us. Seems quite similar to the homepage though. You have uh, certifications and awards here. Products. This is a product page. Uh, product description. So this is like a template, right? You have a product template page write me the copy necessary for the home page welcome to eco-friendly cleaners we are a company dedicated to creating all natural blah 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 our company we believe that cleaning take a look at the website and don't forget to check out our shop it's a bit long i think it's unrealistic you have to look into this break it up into pieces and design it and write the copy as you design it because this feels more like a blog post I don't know. Generate 10 different taglines a copy to present the brand value proposition. 10 different ways to present the brand's value proposition for eco-friendly cleaners. Eco-friendly cleaners, natural cleaning solutions that are safe for you and the environment. Say goodbye to harsh chemicals and hello to all natural cleaning with eco-friendly cleaners. Eco-friendly cleaners, effective cleaning without the harmful chemicals. Keep your home clean and green with eco-friendly cleaners plant-based products. So far, so good. One more thing. Let's say, give me 10 alternative brand names for eco-friendly cleaners. So let's say I don't like the brand name. I, I say, okay, since this is a mock-up project, can you give me another 10 more options? The Green Housekeeper. Interesting. The Clean Collective. So just gonna briefly run through everything that I did here for eco-friendly cleaners. First, we asked for a very simple mock design brief with deliverables for a fictional startup. In fact, you could even you could even come up with this. Let's say we create a new chat. Give me a mock design brief with deliverables for a fictional startup in the health care and technology. Let's say you want to create a portfolio project with something with healthcare, something related to technology. Okay, target audience, go the mobile app. So, so this one is specific with uh, mobile app. So if you're interested in a mobile app, I think this is quite interesting. Let's say you're not interested in a mobile app. Let's say you want to do uh, maybe an identity design. Change this. Okay, so I just asked it to change the deliverable to be an identity system. Logo, typography, color scheme, visual elements to be used for the company website, marketing materials, social media channels. Please let me know if you have any further questions or need help. Need more information, I'm here to help. Coming back to my summary here, deliverables, chat GPT gave me a very brief summary of the brief that I'm looking for. Next, I asked it to give me ideal customer profiles and it gave me four here. Next, because they asked for packaging here, I asked it for detailed copy of what's for the packaging so that if you are a designer, you, you need to know the tagline, the, the text to put inside. You don't want to use Lauren Ibsen. Next, I asked for more details on the logo design. And I think this part here, very helpful. And then next, for the website, I also asked for more details. What are the pages that should be included? And this part here, a bit falling a bit short. I think it didn't fully understand. Maybe if you tweak how you ask and prompt for the question, for the answer, it might be a bit better. Or once you start designing the website, you can say, give me a tagline for here. You can use one of these taglines that I generated after that and put it into maybe the hero section and then uh, the bottom section and then how you can fit it all together with all the different sections. And if you need more text and more copy when you 
start designing, you can come back to it and then ask for more. Keep this chat on, don't delete it. Come back to it and then ask this question again. You will remember that you are talking about eco-friendly cleaners and all this. So my question to you is, will you use goodbrief.io or chat GPT? 